What's going on YouTube, my here, welcome back to my God of War Ragnarok walkthrough, which is part 2. Once again, my mic will be switched off for most of the video, I'll talk through parts of it, but not much of it. If you enjoyed the last video, and the fight with 4, which is crazy, I did enjoy that boss fight. And I'll catch you in the next update with all my content, and the rest of this series. I don't know how many videos I get out of this, but I'll get some. Where are we going? This way. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. The door didn't see anything else but what it outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Gilgrim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's a very Ragnarok his own way. Do you think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. Let's see how to. I don't know, but I don't trust him. Oh, he actually did it himself. What happened here? So close to home. I'm ready to go with one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Blades, that's one thing. Oh, guess the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me here. <sighs> dreams. <laughs> Something down there? It is. It works fast. <laughs>
When did this bridge collapse? Oh, a while ago. Wasn't me. <laughs> Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants and Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So... Enough. wasn't in the way last time I came. <laughs> Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants, so he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. Thank <laughs> you. 
says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep moving. Too late. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on cue. Good at that. <clears throat> Yet another grizzly scene. Nista! I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for oh, oh no! Brother! Father! What a stalker! On your guard, brother! I think we found our predator! Your shield's busted, brother! Just keep your feet moving, yeah? It's hard to blow it. Might be a weak point. Yeah. <laughs> 
A stalker! On your guard, brother. I think we found our predator. Ninja! <laughs> It's more than glowing! Might be a weak point! in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. shield mom gave you. Thor damaged it. But now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. <laughs> Come on. We can get in this way. those shrines we found telling the stories of giants how the panel on the left would be their origin and the panel on the right would be their fate yes we found many i have seen them well there's more to them than we realize <laughs> Well, 
the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. <laughs> on a regular basis in these parts. Fimble Winter wears down all things, even stone. Watching. Well, that's new. Come on, Atreus. Wait. Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are they? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait! We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other oh, shrines? Right. How many have you visited? I... well... 
All of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. You mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears and Svartal find somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. Boy, lad, even if we can send our looking for Tear, how do you have us getting to Svartal find? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. <laughs> Shortcut this way. What's under there, you think? Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely! Fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. Brother, there's no blocking without your shield. <laughs> Nasty head. You all right, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Knees 
against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfarm, that there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But, if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search, for good. All right. You won't be sorry. <laughs> Atreus, it's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. See, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimba Winter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's 
It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is he anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. It looks like. That. I blame you. Now, well, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey, I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallop. You know this. Mmm. Busted up good. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? We got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. The kid's gonna insist on getting taller. Best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. Hmm. Looks like Fimble Winner's been hard on the girl. Give her here. She's overdue for some Brock love.
Come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Will you help us or not? No, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! Ha, <laughs> Open now! I, I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now, release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Frostful goes, eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just need to adjust. <gasps> there! That should do it! See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Gritos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Case you take a joke, you old goat! <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your... 
your key at the room for Svartalfheim on the right. Then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa, do you feel that? What's that like? Anything, e everything. It's warm. <laughs> 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 Probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Why are these things so bad? Rex is on the left. Nista. Stop. Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. <laughs> 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 One less leathery spy. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here, against Odin, and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have killed that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. You never asked Mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. <laughs>
Did you see that over there? channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. <laughs> Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water be frozen in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Brave Mars Brasser. Father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Brock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Dwarven craftsmanship. Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared the regions are right. <laughs>
There's gotta be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Is that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalvine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. You think you can reach the wheel from here? Getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfon? Aye, lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. We can fit under that bridge.
Anything good up there? those guys are hmm. hmm I think we need to get that wheel moving but the water doesn't reach Okay. 
Okay, we froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus. That is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. Trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth. Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. Shall we catch it? Blanket. Attack from behind. Good. There. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there.
Perks up high! Lock them down! Mind your blow up! that geyser from here? I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Try hitting the rope holding the block. Try hitting the rope holding the block. <laughs> Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Try hitting the rope holding the block. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. the rope holding the block.
Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. about facing the guys around the wheel. Maybe. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. hoping to learn from Tia. Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fumble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be on to something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither the Leon brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Wasn't well, definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to you for... We don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. <laughs>
a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or for you. you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Well, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action! Ah! Whew! Oh. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say... Skialfa. didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of them here. How was I supposed to know they were there? tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Till we meet again! Cavassia's poems. Best of luck. 
any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. <laughs> Excuse me, but we're Not looking for... for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words, no nothing. Please! Everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? <laughs> This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently. Intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. 
And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off. Firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to subtle means of resistance. I'm trying to figure out if there's a chest over there. So I'm waiting to get through it. I 
I have to wait. Keyword here, little brother. There's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? 
We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. I think that's it for today guys. I'm going to end the video here and I'll get back to it tomorrow. It's getting late and I'll go to bed and watch a film before I go to sleep. And I'll get back to it tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all my content. I'll be doing a lot more of these videos. I'll be definitely grinding this game out as fast as I can. Another game's getting a bit of hate and some low rating from some people, but I don't bother me. Either way, I love the game, so... <laughs> I, I love God of War anyway, but... The game's brilliant in my opinion. Anyway guys, take care, peace out. Enjoy your today, or night.